Pace bene, peace and goodness. Saint Anthony, the hammer of heretics. Saint Anthony of Padua was known in his own day as the hammer of heretics. Heretic. To know who a heretic is, one should first know what a heresy is. Heresy is a theological doctrine, a belief, and an opinion contrary to accepted orthodox beliefs of a particular religion. It is a belief or opinion against the principles of a particular belief. Heresy is understood today to mean an obstinate denial or doubt by a baptized person of a revealed truth accepted, revealed and taught by the church. Some examples of heresy are Arianism, Docetism and Nestorianism. Arianism is a denial of the true divinity of Christ. Docetism is a belief that the physical body of Jesus was not real. It was an illusion. So his crucifixion was not real and his crucifixion was an illusion. Nestorianism is basically the doctrine that Jesus existed as two persons, the man Jesus and the divine son of God. They are two and not a unified person. Heretic, therefore, is a baptized person who obstinately denies or doubts the truth which the church teaches that it should be believed. One of the vices of the 13th century was heresies. Heresy. They were very much prevalent during the time of St. Anthony. There were heretics who did not believe in the real presence of the Eucharist and the Blessed Sacrament. A heretic who did not believe in the Eucharist challenged St. Anthony and asked him to make his hungry mule bow down before the body of Christ. The heretic, who himself was the owner of the mule, made him to starve for three days. He brought food for the mule and St. Anthony brought the consecrated host. The hungry mule ignored his food. He first knelt before the Eucharist. The heretic saw the miracle and he also bowed and knelt before the Eucharist. Many other heretics converted that day. Once when the heretics were unwilling to listen to St. Anthony, legend has it that the fishes rose to the surface of the water to hear St. Anthony preach. St. Anthony was called the hammer of heretics because of his effectiveness in bringing about the conversion of heretics. He said to have stirred many heretics to repentance. The most obstinate heretics and the most hardened sinners threw themselves at his feet. 
secondly he became known as the hammer of heretics for his ability to refute erroneous and false teachings thirdly he proclaimed that truth is christ and he preached the truths of the catholic church with zeal fervor and courage